Hey guys, Spartan117GW here. We are here at Extreme Combat. And uh, we have these really awesome lights, uh, the Lightbuck. Really economical uh, the lighting system, loom system. You can use, there's different functionality features. Um, there's different you know, attachment systems. You have buckles, you have these sidebar mounts, hook and loop or Velcro mounts, and you also have uh, Molly mounts as well. Uh, so a lot of different ways to attach it to your gear. You can use it for, as a safety feature if you keep track of people, for example, the Go Rock, or if you're jumping out of aircraft, or if you're doing training in a low loom environment, all kinds of things like that. You also have IR versions we can use as breadcrumbs, there's you know, guys in all kinds of different units, using them right now in real world situations. And what's really great is for the price of this, you probably get three or four of these for the price of like one V-Light. And replacements are really, really cheap. Uh, the loom that they got on these, they basically you can, you can keep this one lit on for about 100 hours. And as you can see, really small, so it really takes up no real estate on your gear. Really good, also if you're playing airsoft or any, any kind of simulation, you can use them more, hey, I'm dead, if, especially if you're in a low loom situation. Um, and as you can see, they come in white, red, blue, green, and I, like I said, IR, but uh, what are some of your thoughts on the light buck? We showed it to a couple people, but I wanna get some of your opinions on it. Yeah, I think the light buck, it's a great, like he said, great replacement for the V-Light. Um, Cause I know it's small, so like this, it, ho it hooks around your shoulder strap or like it attaches to a small patch of Velcro and it's small. So if you have just a small spot of Velcro, it's easy to attach there. Whereas the V-Light is a long, it's a longer light. So if you have just a small strip, you're gonna have this part of it hanging off and potentially get knocked off. And that's like 45, 50 bucks gone right there. Whereas these are cheap and uh, inexpensive and you knock one off or you lose it, it's easily replaceable and you're not feeling so bad that you just lost a V-Light. So I like them. They work great in night areas or low light situations, like he said, and they're just awesome. I love, I love these light bucks, so pretty sweet. So as you can see, we have one on the, one of the LBT bags hooked here. We also have Echo Niner camera strap. Pretty much anything with the standard uh, buckle, it'll pretty much clip in. And they have the Coyote tan oh, brown and black mounting systems, and there's gonna be all kinds of new stuff coming out. Uh, what's also really cool is how easy it is to swap the mounts. You can, you can just get the lights if you want, and you can have a bunch of different mounts and can swap them because it, it literally just, it literally just gets pressed in there and it's good to go. And there's this little hole on the front here where the loom comes out of that you can just stick something in there, pry it out, and you can swap whatever mount that you have it on, and then there you go. You basically, you're good to go. You can have one set of lights, a bunch of different mounts, or vice versa, and you have all the different uses that you can have them for. Uh, definitely liking these. We showed them off of Blue Gray. The guys at American Milsim love these things, and there's a lot of different units. You can go ruck, and a whole bunch of people are, are looking at these for all the different applications that you can have. So obviously, Lightbuck, really good uh, item. Make sure you guys check them out. They're on Facebook. Their website just went up. Um, so you gotta contact them right now, try to pick them up, because uh, they're, they're vaporizing pretty much. So once these things truly hit the market and start selling, 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 this could potentially be the next big thing, next big loom object. So make sure you guys check it out. This is the Lightbuck. Uh, big thanks to Alex Cove for hooking us up with these. Uh, make sure you guys check them out. This is Spartan 117 and Samurai Matt 3. Uh, make sure you guys watch. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm James C. Burns and play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117 GW, baby. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.